You don't need to code to create amazing WooCommerce apps. Introducing App Maker, no code app builder. Let's get started. This is a basic WooCommerce website store. Let me show you how you can create an app for this site with App Maker. First, you will need to open appmaker.xyz forward slash WooCommerce, which is the WooCommerce page of App Maker, and click on Build My App Now. While you're there, you have to enter the full URL of your store and go back to your website, then copy and paste the full URL, including HTTPS, HTTP, www, or other naming conventions along with the domain name. Click on Next. AppMaker will validate your URL and drive you to the next section. Here you have two options. You can either entrust AppMaker to create an app for your business, or you can do it yourself. Yes, of course. Today, I will show you how to create it yourself. Click on the first option. To sign up with the appmaker.xyz account, fill in the required details mentioned. Once done, click the Sign Up button. On the next screen, you need to type in the name of your store. This name can be changed later if you choose to. Then press Submit. AppMaker will validate your URL. The next module will cover how you can activate the plugin. To install the plugin, log into your WordPress dashboard, then go to Plugins. Click on Add New. Use the search bar and type in AppMaker Plugin. AppMaker has both WooCommerce and WordPress plugins. Ensure that you have made the right choice for your WooCommerce website. Select AppMaker. Convert WooCommerce to Android and iOS native mobile apps and click Install. Once it's installed, just click on Activate. Perfect! Now you need to connect your store to the app. By connecting the store to the app, you can automatically add all the products on your website to the app. Once you add new products to your website, they will automatically get added to the app as well. Click on Connect Store with App. Once you have been directed to the next screen, you have to add the project ID, API key, and the API secret key. For the info, go back to your AppMaker dashboard. Once you connect your website with AppMaker, an API credential page will be automatically loaded. Copy and paste the details to your WordPress dashboard and click on Activate. Now your store is in sync with AppMaker. Click here and let's move on to AppMaker dashboard. Congratulations, your app is ready. The main page of AppMaker Dashboard will allow you to access all the information and control options that you need to create your app. Let me walk you through the dashboard. You can access both Android and iOS previews here. Once you click on Preview and download the app file and upload it to Appetize, you will be able to get a preview of your app. With Android, you can either download the APK file on your phone and then get a real feel for the app on your phone, or you can use Appetize to visually experience it on the desktop. We will be doing this at the end of the video with our fully customized app. Let's move on to the next module, App Customization. On the left side of your AppMaker dashboard, you'll be able to see different options through which you can customize and control the look and feel of your app. By default, you will have two subcategories under the Custom App button. First one is In-App Pages, and the second one is the Menu. In-App Pages allow you to create multiple custom pages that can be interlinked as your business demands. You can creatively use In-App Pages to create categories and subcategories of products, offer pages, bestseller pages, and so on. The menu option just below in-app pages allows you to organize the menu as you need. This is an option similar to the one WordPress has. Now let's start customizing. To start with, I'm editing the home page here. By clicking on the block options, you will get options to duplicate or remove blocks. We are going to remove this banner and add an image slider instead. Let's click on remove and scroll down and find the Add Block section. 
you will get a list of options by clicking on the Add Block section. Add banners, grids, menus, and other common blocks using this option. You also get an option to add a custom HTML block using the App Maker HTML block option. Now, let's add an image to the slider to the home page with a few clicks. This image slider helps us to create engaging sliders on click actions. I'm adding an offer image with a call to action, and let's set the desired action for it. You have multiple action options available here. You can open in-app pages, web view, URL, a particular product, or its category or tag, and there are a few more options for you to play with. I'm choosing a product by category here, and let's choose the category from the second dropdown. In this example, men page. Here you go. I went ahead and added a few more slider images here. Now, let's click on save. I'm moving this option to the top section, as this is going to replace our deleted header banner. I have made a few more additions to my home page, and now it's customized for the visitors. Now, let's create a new in-app page for the store. Go to Customize App and click on Add a New Page. Give basic details such as language and page title. We are keeping the language as default and give the page title Men. Let's save it. And now we can start customizing the page. Let's add separate grids for men's accessories. I'm increasing the number of columns to add all subcategories. And then add the images and choose the action and subaction. Repeat the process for all grids. I have added all the grids here. Now we can add an offer banner below the grid. Add the image and choose action and the banner is ready. Below that, we can add product scroller. Click on pre-built product scroller. We are going to create one for shirts. Choose your product scroller category and choose from multiple options available. Here we are adding shirts, so let's go with the option Open Products in a Category, then select Men's Shirts. Now you have a product scroller with all the shirts added to your in-app page. We are fetching this information right from your WooCommerce page. Any changes added there will be reflected here as well. Let me add a few more options on the page. And here it is. The page is ready now. I have also added a few more in-app pages for this store. Now we will explore how we can set up the menu. We already have a pre-built menu available for the store. Let's customize it for the mobile version. I'm deleting all of it just to show you how to build one from scratch. Create a title menu for categories. This is a non-actionable title menu. We can also add a menu page to the menu with an actionable URL. The title for the menu will be Min, and it is a menu item. We are going to direct this button to open an in-app page, which is the page Min. Select the relevant options here. Here, you also have an option to choose a menu icon. Now, choose an icon. And here's how it looks. By dragging the menu blocks, you can make it a subcategory. I have created the full menu for this brand using the same method and here's how it looks. I have created multiple categories and subcategories. Also, I have linked the offers page, contact us page, and a few contact options here, like email, call, and WhatsApp. You can choose the right set of menu items and customize it based on your business needs. Next is the update app module. Once you have customized the app, you need to save the changes. Update app section will provide you with a new app preview or a new app download with the changes you have made. This section also gives you the general settings such as change the app name and upload an app icon. Click on next once done. On the next page, decide the theme and the style of your app. This section helps with all basic branding requirements and defines how the app should look like. For a basic or starter app, it's recommended to keep the website branding itself. Once options are set, then click on Next. This screen allows you to set up the logo and basic images for the app, such as the splash screen of the app, toolbar logo, a header. 
Here, you can add a push notification icon if you choose to. Here is the option to add a login page logo, and you also have other options as well. Once done, click Next or click on Add-ons. In Add-ons, you can enable a set of features. For example, Push Notification Feature, Enable Apple Login, Google Login, so on and so forth. Next, you have multiple options which help you decide the look and feel of the app. And then finally, you can decide the languages you need the app to be in. Here you can add languages and you can make the translations here. If you want to add languages, you can just search for the language and then click on it and then finally click on Submit. When you click on Submit, the app gets refreshed and built again. Next, there are some unique features in the App Maker dashboard. The first one is the push notification feature. The push notification is an important feature that helps in customer engagement and retention. All App Maker plans consist of push notification features. And with a five step configuration, you can send push notifications to your customers to generate compelling results. Next is the promote app feature. So once your app is out there in the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store, you would want your users and your customers to know that they can access your store via a mobile app. With Smart Banner, whenever your users open the mobile website, a banner such as this will be shown on the top of the website where they can be urged to download the app. Similarly, an email footer is where you can inform your customers about the app through the order confirmation email. When a customer creates an order through the website, along with the order confirmation email, customers will get a footer like this. You can customize the features based on your needs. These are great ways to get a quick push to your app promotion. To get more information about push notification, smart banner, email footer, and any other features, you can click on the Docs tab and glance through the topics you are interested in. Now, as I promised earlier, let's take a look at our newly created mobile app. I have downloaded the APK file from the dashboard and installed it on my Android device. This is the icon of the mobile app we have created. Let's click on it and see our app. The homepage looks astonishing with the right images and slider at the top. Click on the menu and see how it looks. Here are the sub-menu options. Let's have a quick glance at our pages. Click on Men Page. Here's how it looks. All the required options are added. Now, click on the t-shirt page and select a product and add it to the cart. Here is how the cart looks. The selected product is in the cart. You can choose the number of products needed by just clicking add or minus. Also, you have the option to add coupons. Back on the home page, we have a wish list tab. Customers can add products to the wish list. Here we have options to create an account for new users and login options to existing ones. As we can see, all the updates made in the App Maker dashboard are reflected here in the mobile app. This is how you can quickly create and customize a no code mobile app. Thank you for joining us in the App Maker WooCommerce tutorial. Visit appmaker.xyz to convert your mobile application dream into reality.